you guys are new, hi, my name is Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler review for Dead to Me season two. Um, so I did a spoiler review also with season one. It is only 10 episodes, but they are all just 30 minutes long. So you you get through it very quickly, you guys. In season two, we do have the aftermath after Jen killed Steve Woods. From the way that the show ended, you figured that she shot him and you know that's how he fell into the pool but it was not death by that little damn little bird that Judy made the, the son and she just kind of like smacked him and went to the pool yeah so this is all of trying to get rid of the body cover up obviously because he's dead but they don't know that he's dead to him being involved in mon money laundering which we found out in season one we found out he was money laundering season one, weren't we? Or he was just involved in something. Wait, anyways, he's money laundering. And he is also involved with the Greek Mafia. Now, I don't know about you, but that was kind of like with the Greek Mafia. Because, I mean, I don't know anything about the Greek Mafia because you don't hear much about them. I'm sure they're very, very scary people. If you're a Greek Mafia person, I don't mean any disrespect. Don't come after me. I'm going to say this though, I do still prefer season one over season two. There wasn't, I feel as much uh, with this one. I mean, there still had its moments, but I feel like I was more involved and more like in the show in season one. And I was really, really hoping to get more out of it with season two. Like Ozark, I love Ozark. Like, I feel like each season, it just gets more and more. Um, I still, I meant to do a review for that, but you guys, I just never did. But anyways, I was a little bit disappointed that I, I, I didn't get that extra pizzazz with this one. I mean, it did have its, its moments, like Steve having a freaking twin brother. Like honestly, when he showed up to the door, I went, when Karen was opening up the uh, pool, right, and she just kept looking in, in there, I, I was expecting for him to still be there. When he wasn't there, then Jen has this kind of face. I'm just like, where the fuck is he? Like, so I was honestly thinking he maybe somehow got out of it, was trying to, like, you know, whatever. One of those, like, miracle, like, TV recoveries. And quite honestly, for me, it was a little bit hilarious with the twin brother because it was like very telenovela like of course you know that he's the good brother and then the thief was like the evil brother you know that got murdered but now like the good brother's here to solve his mystery and solve the murder and and fall in love with the killer linda cardellini in this season i mean i loved her in season one you guys i really did i feel like she really stepped up her game in season two i absolutely adored her christina applegate did absolutely wonderful as well i just i love these two together they were paired up perfectly i also hold that they get nominated for an emmy um i think they did wonderful especially linda i feel like she had that extra something this this season i, I was really really here for it i i honestly i find myself to be like a jen because i'm very like close-hearted and like i mean i have love to give right but i'm very like here and judy is just very judy you know she's just too much love to give always trying to give people hugs and i would have been like everybody like no do not hug me she's just such a good person right which is nothing wrong with it who else knew there was money in those paintings because honestly the way that she was looking at the paintings you know when she was um making sure everything was locked i was like i bet you there's money or there's something in the the paintings and then lo and behold yes there's bunch of money in the pan that paintings so i feel like that was in a way predictable i'm just jumping all over with this damn season it's just literally as it pops into my head i don't have anything written down i always say i'm going to have my pinpoints to make sure that i get everything i never do i always come and i'm just like the way that it ended you guys right who else knew that she was gonna get hit i mean i didn't realize it was going to be ben who's gonna hit her until the actual impact happened i was just like i bet you that's been i bet you and it was him and then he did a freaking hit and run i mean my driver because he was drinking um but i am glad that they both um are okay let's go go drink the water again i was expecting for her not to wake up but i thought that's how the uh episode was gonna end with the season was going to end was with uh, judy 
trying to wake Judy up. No. <laughs> Judy trying to wake Jin up. And I was like, oh, now Janet's going to be the one that's going to be dead or what's going to happen. So, obviously, it does leave you with what's going to happen for season three. Because, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't feel ending left me with the oh my god like season one did. Because this, the way that this ended, I'm, I'm going to love a season three. But kind of. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. Another storyline that I would like to know a little bit more is what would happen with Judy and her new love interest, Michelle, which I was totally here for. I really like their relationship. I would love to see where this goes, if it blossoms into anything else. And I feel like Michelle's really good for Judy. I really do. Obviously, she was in a very abusive relationship with Steve, and I feel like Michelle would be a perfect person to help her with a lot of issues they said that they were digging a hole for like six hours wasn't it so did they not dig that hole far enough i mean did that lady that that dog that tiny little dog just dig up the damn body like all the way down or did that lady just get suspicious and call somebody so they can find the body because i'm just like how because i know if that was my dog i would be like come on we need to go like honestly i wouldn't even have thought about anything i would have just let, let's go would you guys want to stay there? Would you have called the police or would you have just gone? It's because it is like a graveyard per that little creepy ass girl that's like, yeah, if I would, <laughs> who's the one that gave the idea to go and dump the body at that forest? But I mean, six hours and you, you dug it only as deep as a tiny little dog could dig it up? I mean, I don't know. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot I was gonna have a prop for my wine. I'm sober now, otherwise I would have been drinking. I think I may have drank for the first review. Literally every time I kept seeing that, I was like, oh, I kind of want to drink. Like, I should get some wine. I I had plenty, but I've been sober for about three months now, four months. I wasn't like an alcoholic. I just decided to stop drinking. But I did say that I wanted to have a wine prop in my background. Totally forgot. This video's done with, but there it is right there. Okay, you guys. You know what? I do want to say that I was drinking out of it. It's a perfect show to watch with your friends. I mean, you're drinking wine because you can drink wine with them. But then it also showcased the friendship and what you're able to do. Basically, hide the dead. Honestly, hide the dead bodies, right? And protect each other. I think that's it, you guys. I, I think that's it. I know I, I may have left out a lot of things. But I'm telling you guys, I need to start writing myself down because I forget. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh my god. It's because I'm drunk. All right, you guys, so if you've seen season two of Dead to Me, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did you like season one over season two? Are you looking forward to a season three? Are you anticipating a season three? As always, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, cheers.